Hey everybody, I got another gadget. This time it's this very tiny uh, Tuya motion sensor. So I got this on AliExpress so that my bathroom lights can turn on and off all by themselves. So let's open it up. So what do we get inside the box? You get the motion sensor and a little bit of uh, sticky tape to adhere to a wall. So what does this have? This has a light sensor. I think that's up there. There is the motion sensor here, and there is a scene switch, a button, so you can turn lights on and off manually if you so wish. Now this is the Zigbee version, meaning you need to have a Zigbee uh, controller. So I purchased one of those, and I'll do a video on that separately, uh, but you need to have that all set up. I'll be doing this with Home Assistant and Zigbee to MQTT, so that's how I will be doing that. It uses two AAA batteries, so you just pop them in the back here like so. And now I've already paired mine, but when you first turn it on, uh, that red light will be flashing over and over until you go into your Zigbee um, system and pair it. So, all right. Okay, so the PIR is set up. It's on the other side of this wall, so when I walk in, it should activate. All right, here we go. And there you go, the lights are on. Perfect. And if I want to turn them off, I can just do this, or the automation will turn them off in about 30 minutes. Hey, um, so I'm dressed up for my other tech channel right now, uh, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you uh, what the bathroom sensor looks like. I use Zigbee to MQTT uh, with an adapter. I did another video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description uh, and maybe at the end card as well about the adapter that I use. And there's a device right now. And if we click on it, we can see uh, everything that's exposed. We've got the battery, which is at 17%. I'll quickly show the battery graph, but I don't exactly know how long it's going to last yet because they haven't died. Um, so the, now we get the occupancy. This tells us it's clear. That means no one's been seen. Uh, that's the button, the action button, and it's dark in the bathroom right now because the lights are off and then there's the link quality. So that's everything you can get exposed from this adapter. Okay, so I have two automations. One is for the switch, so that's when I push the button. That one turns off the lights. And then for the bathroom PIR, I use the built-in PIR automation, so motion-activated light I use. That's a built-in routine that you can use. Uh, so that's how I do it. I don't think it's perfect. I think this routine sometimes gets like, it, it gets stuck. I think I need to cancel it if I push the button. Because if I manually turn off the lights, right, sometimes the motion doesn't kick in. It's not the adapter. It's definitely my automation that needs tweaks. But for my purposes, it's working totally fine. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's really cool. People, you know, they'll visit, they'll use the bathroom. They go, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> Weird. All right. Uh, one more thing. We'll look at the battery. Okay, so on the 24th of May, I put some Eneloop Pros in here that were fully charged. And I thought it was going to die much faster than uh, this, because you could see here it was pretty steep. It was going doon, 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 doon. And now it's just a slow drain. Um, and it's at 17%. And it's been almost a month. So the battery life's pretty good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually make a pinned comment. And I'll tell you the exact date it, it eventually stops working and I put freshly charged batteries in again. But so far, so good. It's reached a month, maybe it will go for several months on a single pair and this just percentage is just awful and not accurate. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, that pretty much sums up this adapter. I really like it and you can find a link to buy it in the description too from AliExpress. Um, and yeah, again, check that pinned comment for battery life, but yeah, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one. Don't expect me to be dressed like this and these videos all the time because this is for my tech channel and I was too lazy to take it off. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching to the end. I don't usually put end cards on these videos, but here we are. Anyway, here's a link to the Zigbee adapter and maybe another video like, uh, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.